Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Oiz and welcome back to Project Ozone 2. In the last episode, we did the most wonderful thing ever, making an energy condenser from Project E, which allows us to basically duplicate uh, a lot of items in the game. We're going to be using a lot of these um, in the coming episodes, and today um, we're going to do a couple of things. One, we are going to focus on doing some quests because um, I want to unlock more stuff so that I kind of get the progression like we're supposed to. And then we are also going to be expanding our applied logistics system. So, um, yeah, that's the plan. Anyways, let's get started with the planet logistics system. So between episodes, I built another layer. Um, so I just built a big gigantic layer down here to house the applied logistics system um, as much as we need, as much as we want, all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, and first thing we're gonna do is actually just break this guy. Um, so our system is offline, but we can duplicate these. So let's just get, uh, let's do about that many. Sure, why not? Um, and for the time being, let's go ahead and place this back. Uh, if we can actually reach. So this is going to allow us to kind of make bigger systems and that's something I'm going to do down here. Um, I don't know how large of a system we're going to do. Probably a 5x5. Five five. I don't know. Um, but I'll probably set that up off camera more than anything else. But I want to just kind of show that off. And uh, let's see, we can, can we duplicate interfaces? Uh, that would be really nice if we can. I know some things we can, some things we can't. Interfaces are duplicatable, um, so that's nice. So we're just going to throw the ME controllers in there. Uh, and something I want to do, so the 1K storage cells can be duplicated. So let's look up storage uh cell so the actual storage cells cannot be duplicated however let's go ahead and make one of these um it'll take a second won't be too bad and i guess let's look at the quest line i think that'll be the best thing to do so uh we're going to want to kind of just knock out a bunch of these quests as quickly as possible. So we need to make a drive fixture, which the recipe for this is, um, well, all duplicatable. So we want an ME drive. Uh, can we make one of those pretty easily? We certainly can. We're going to want both formation and annihilation cores. And we're just going to duplicate all this stuff because why not? Um, does this have EMC? No, of course not. Uh, so it's just a matter of kind of figuring out what's going to have EMC and what doesn't um, to kind of decide how we're going to do things. So, uh, for example, what are these called? S storage components. Um, so the 1K is EMCable. And then I believe there's another one that's EMCable at a certain point. Uh, well, the, the biggest one, <laughs> but I don't know that we're going to make that anytime soon. But yeah, so there's, there's various things that are EMCable. Um, so what we'll do is just put this up here. That makes 15 of those. That'll be fine for now. Um, let's put just some nether stars in there. That's enough. And that's enough. So um, what we'll want to do is just make sure that we have uh, extra things. That's that's really all it is. So if we want to make the drive fixture, it's just like so, right? No. All right, so let's look up the drive fixture because I don't remember how to make that. Uh, any drive fixture. Evidently, it's shaped. So we can make one of those. And I don't really care about keeping that, but it is a quest. So we're going to take, 
Let's take the middlemost. Um, middle right is what we're going to do. So if there's two, we'll take the right one. Uh, so let's just kind of work through all of this. We've already completed that quest. So 1K storage. Now this is where things are going to get fun. Um, let's go ahead and put that away. So we got two goods. That's that's fine. I um, guess let's put that in there. And let's get a housing. Uh, if I can spell housing. So these are relatively cheap to make. Uh, unfortunately, we can't, like, uh, we need glass. Quartz glass. Make me two of those. Uh, so unfortunately, we can't, like, duplicate these, but that's fine, because who cares? Um, so there is a 1K. Uh, we need a 4K now, so what we can do is pop that out. And do I already have 4Ks? I have 16Ks. Did I just make 16s? Yes. Alright, so um, in order to make the next tier of this, um, we're going to need calculation processors, quartz glass, and electro team. Calculation processors, we have one. Uh, Electrotine and quartz glass. So all of this is EMCable. Um, so what we can do is just put that in there for a little bit. Nope, nope, nope. You gotta take it out first. Uh, so as long as we keep one, uh, and then calculation processors, we can make a stack of them. No big deal. Um, let's make more quartz glass. And let's make more storage cells. So let's just let that go for a little bit. So if we want the next tier, let's just get a bunch of those. Uh, that'll be fine. And we just put that into here. Claim reward, claim the next reward, and we can go to 64k pretty much immediately. Uh, assuming that, oh my gosh, stop. Um, assuming that we can actually make these. So, uh, recipe, and we're out of electrotine. So that's what I'm gonna need to kinda keep an eye on. Um, just keep one of everything. So, uh, let's grab a chest. Doesn't really matter. We'll just put this here. So we'll want to keep one of all the things we're currently kind of messing with. And if we want to make these the next tier. Okay, so um, what we can do actually is just throw this stuff in here. And we grab some electric team. And get some of that. Um, we should be able to make basically whatever tier of stuff that we want. So just make sure we keep one of each in there. Uh, so let's actually keep one of each of all of the uh, various things we're duplicating right now. Uh, ME controller. We can put, nope, let me to click that one. Misclicked. So that is just kind of basic system stuff that we're gonna want. And we can literally just throw all this stuff in here for right now. And now we can make, um, let's make 2016s. We have everything, but it's gonna craft some stuff. So we don't want that. We want it to just make it so if we make, let's do 21, is it, does it have anything, is it saying to craft anything other than, oh, so we need engineering processors next, so let's make sure we have plenty of these. And we'll throw in that many nether stars. So this is kind of 
the easiest way to do things right now. Um, just because of, well, making whatever we want. So let's do 21 of these. That should be relatively quick. Uh, what's the next quest to do? Uh, is it the 64s? Okay, 64s are next. So... Uh, let's get 64k and let's get three of these. We'll craft this like so. Complete the quest. And then next is 256, which should be... Um, so we need glowstone ingots now. So we're going to stop there. Um, but for the time being, um, we're a little bit full up on everything. So let's just do this. And there is a 64K to store everything. So what I will do between episodes is I will upgrade everything to at least 64. Um, that'll be good enough for now. And ooh, we got an epic. And that, that's where we'll stop for, for the time being. We'll worry about the fluid and the gas storage stuff later. Um, but, so like we need a 64K crafting. Um, we can do that pretty easily. Are you crafting anything? Nope. So let's just break this guy. We can decouple them so we can take the uh, storage component out and get a 64K. And that's pretty easy. All right, so with that taken care of, um, I believe we can duplicate these as well. So let's make a handful of these and put them in there. Cool. So just kind of making everything we need. Um, so we got two epics now. That's awesome. We'll open everything up at the end. So, um, crafting, it wants more terminals. We'll worry about that stuff later. And then cells, storage buses. We need to make the other storage buses as well. Okay. So let's move away from this and let's start working towards what I think is going to unlock more quests. So I was looking at a couple of things. Um, I was online, you can find for Project Ozone 2, kind of the quest line um, how each thing kind of leads to the next. Uh, and for example, if we want to unlock Mew, um, we need to complete a quest in Lambda. Uh, specifically, we need to complete the Awakened Core, which we already have. We've actually completed all those. As soon as we unlock Draconic Evolution, it's going to unlock Mew. Um, the uh, Avaritia? I don't know how to say it. Um, so we need to figure out how to unlock Lambda. And I think I know what does it. And in order to do that, we're going to have to go through a lot of stuff here. So um, I believe it is this Power Armor Mark II, um, which unfortunately, if we look at the recipe, requires battle suit. Actually, uh, that should be fine. Because I think, isn't this used to make... Okay, so that's the next tier for Wyvern. So battle suit makes flux or dark, which requires the Visio. Um, either one you want to go with. So, okay, that's not a problem. Uh, all right, so, um, let's never active that and let's turn this one on. So that's going to use a lot of power. That's fine, to be honest. Um, but that should give us, eventually, uh, a bunch of Zavisio. Uh, so that's where we're going to kind of stop for right now. Um, we'll try to make more armor. So we're going to need all the Zavisio armor. And we have, let's see, what's the worst? Poison protection, don't really care about. Uh, I really hate the speed increase. And night vision. So we need leggings. Um, so we're going to want to get Zavisio leggings. Uh, well, I want just the normal ones. 
which means we're gonna need to go all the way back. Do we have Spectre? No. What's the, the last set of leggings we have? We have steel and we have iron and we have, we have steel and we have iron. Okay. So this should not be too difficult at this point because a lot of the stuff we can actually, um, well, duplicate. So steel, xanite. Can we not use that? Okay. So let's grab some steel, which by the way is EMCable. We can't repair that. All right, well, I guess we'll just go back farther. Um, so iron leggings, we have. And let's see, iron leggings. We're going to want to turn those into lapis. Turns into osmium. None of this stuff really matters to me um, about like duplicating right now. And here's the steel. Xanite, um, how much Xanite do we have? I believe we have a bit. Yeah, we have enough. I don't really care. Um, we're gonna need more exoskeleton plates. We're gonna need a lot of these. And go ahead and do that. And then turn into Jade. And then we're gonna need reinforced exoskeleton plates which are just like so. And let's add like some nether stars to the equation. In fact, let's make some more exoskeleton plates just in case we need them later. That should be enough. Um, I have a feeling we're gonna need the boots as well, so that's fine. Uh, reinforced and then next we need enchanted gravitate and that is more than enough throwing in a handful of nether stars is like the cheapest cheapest thing we have uh, diamond titanium and then I believe we're about to get into Yes. So we need, for this guy, Osseo Essence. Uh, so let's grab a thing of Osseo. Um, Crucio. And Imperio. And one Zavisio. So we can, again, duplicate all this stuff. Um, Specifically, we need to make uh, at magical crops. Uh, so we need to make all these ingots. So osseo ingots requires stone infused. And then we can make osseo ingots. Duplicate them for a little bit. Perfect. And then next is Crucio, which requires iron infused. And same thing. So duplicate these for a little bit. Uh, then Imperio. One, two. And there we go. Plenty of stuff. And then finally, the Zavisio ingots, which we already had the diamond infused mana dust. Um, and now, here is the real question can we repair these? Um, I don't know. I think we can repair them if we use our boots, but so we're gonna need to do the same thing with boots. So we have, ooh, we have osmium boots. So we can start from there. So bronze, steel, 
all the way through. Xanite. And I am aware that we don't have access to the quest for this yet. Um, but we'll get there very soon. So gravitite. Diamond. Titanium. Spectre. And now we can start doing Osseo leggings. And boots. Crucio. Uh, and boots. Imperio. And boots. And finally, the Zavisio. And boots. So we have a second set of armor. So we'll get to that in a moment. Um, now we need to start working towards that quest. So first thing we need to make is ZBQ-7, which, if we look at the recipe, requires Magnaloy, Mystic Quartz, and Nether Stars. So, uh, let's ZBQ. And we just need the Mystic Quartz, which is Titanium and Quartz. So Titanium and quartz in the item fabricator, which we have right over here. How is this doing? Um, 10, 10, 10, how many seeds? We have way too many seeds, all right. Um, never active. All right, we're just gonna turn that off right now and we'll come back to it in a moment. I will deal with it off camera, basically. So mystic quartz, we can duplicate. Oh man, I love this thing. I don't know how much we're going to need, but that should be plenty for now. Because we can also duplicate the ZBQ-7 stuff. So, claim those. Next is the Cubic Crystal, which requires stuff I don't know that we have. Um, so, Peridot, we have a bit. So, cu Cubit? Alright, here we go. Cubic Crystal. Um, Ender Crystal, we need an Ender Pearl and Redstone. And Redstone. In here again. Um, we'll duplicate stuff as needed. Um, because the one thing has a Nether Star in it, uh, that's not going to be something we're going to want to duplicate if we don't need to. We'll see kind of, but this is relatively cheap. It's just, actually it's cheaper than what it goes into. So we're gonna want one of these. Uh, you know what, let's make a just another one just to have it. Um, and then we're gonna want the 300 And same thing, we're going to duplicate this just to have a couple extras. But um, really that's all we're going to be doing is when we make something new, we'll duplicate it until we get the transmutation tablet, which will be a good while from now. Uh, that thing is expensive, so let's make these. Quest completed. Next is an energized crystal which we're gonna need a good bit of these. Ooh, they're expensive. Um, what do they require? Mystic Quartz, 500 Sapphires and more Inner Quart Crystals. So that's not too bad. Um, energized. Um, what is it called? Oh, it's one word. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and duplicate a few of these. Because I don't know what all these are going to be used for. Oh, cubits. Yeah, we're going to need that. Um, this is relatively expensive, but it's not actually that bad. Um, but we're going to need some of the stuff. Alright, so we're going to need the 500. Duplicate that a couple of times. And then... The Energized Crystal. 
and there's that quest. So, um, and now we have a couple more. We have the item fabricator. We're gonna take the middle. Uh, advanced circuit. We have goods, graders. We have a lot of reward bags to open. So, um, and then this is going to want us to do other things. Imaginary time block. This thing is super useful, but also incredibly expensive. Requires a qubit cluster level five, which is pretty expensive. Um, growth posters, compressed Gaia, liquid sunshine. It's not terrible. We'll get to it eventually, but uh, it's it's bad enough. So uh, next is the eviscerator. So the recipe for that is two eviscerator rods and an eviscerator head. Not too bad. We're gonna want these battle suit plates. So uh, let's. Duplicate these just a couple of times. And now we're going to want the eviscerator. Uh, so this is a weapon. We're going to want these battle suit pieces. Because we're going to need a good number of these. Uh, I did not mean to do that, so we'll do that. And just throw in half a stack of diamonds, or um, nether stars. And we're going to need one of these and two of these. And I think, honestly, it's just as cheap. So there is the eviscerator. Um, the eviscerator is dig all the things except this kind of this thing is kind of slow. So it has um, basically infinite mining level, um, but it's not all that great. I don't plan on using it. Uh, so another grader. Perfect. What's next? Power armor, Mark 1. Alright, this is what we were waiting for. So, battle suit. We need to make dark helm. We need to make something else first. Uh, let's see what the chest plate is. Uh, we need the dark solarium jetpack. Alright, so that's another quest over in here. Dark solarium jet plate. We're going to do that one instead. So, Dark Solarium. So, that requires a Vibrant Jetpack, which should not be too bad, and a Dark Plate. So, the Dark Plate is easy enough. Oh, we can't... Mm, I'm kind of mad about that. Alright, well... We need to go back to... Let's see, chest plate. What's the furthest chest plate we have? We have iron. And helmet, iron. All right, well, let's continue this train uh, again. So none of this is terribly difficult to do. Uh, it's just going to be a little bit time consuming to let's make some more Xanite. Um, what is that stuff called? Battle suit. We want to keep one of these separate for right now, uh, just in case. Alright, that should be enough Xanite. All right, exoskeleton, jade, these things, gravitite, diamond. Oh man, um, so we just need to get all this armor. More osseo. Uh, we're probably going to need more of all this stuff. Actually, maybe not. Um, ingots. Okay, we have plenty of all this stuff, so that's fine. Uh, and then we'll do the same thing to the helmet. It's just going to take a little bit of time. Um, apologies. I didn't realize we were going to have to do this, but that's fine. 
So, basically, we're going to make the dark armor next. Um, because that's the next in the tier. Now, we could upgrade the armor we're currently wearing, but I don't want to. Um, the main reason I don't want to is just because I'm currently wearing it. And I don't want to risk losing anything and having to remake everything like I currently am. Um, although it is a lot easier now. Um, we can duplicate it. Um, but I don't know if it's really worth it. Alright, so Zvisio turns into Dark Plate. Um, and we're going to need the full armor. So might as well. And then the Dark Plate we're going to need for the Dark Jet Plate. So this is where things are going to get fun. We need two Dark Solarium Thrusters. So we're going to need Flight Control Unit times two. We're going to need a lot of Dark Solarium, so we're going to need Pulsating Crystal, Solarium, and Dark Steel. So Dark Steel we have a good bit of. Uh, how many of these are we going to need? So we're going to need two... Let's see, one, two, three, four, eight. So we, we're going to need 12 for the boosters. Um, 14... Okay, so 14, we're going to need 20, 20 Dark Solarium, so we'll, we'll start with that. So we just need Pulsating Crystals, let's make 20 of these, I don't think they're that bad, it's just, yeah, no, that's easy other than let's grab some Pulsating Iron, make this a little bit easier. Um, all right, so pulsating crystals. Who are those? It still wants to craft a bunch. So let's get nine and make sure that 11. Okay, perfect. Is that going to be enough? Pulsating crystals times 20. Eh, whatever. Uh -huh. And then we're going to need some solarium. Times again, 20. So, in the meantime, we need to get some bats. Um, so... We have villager... Okay, so we're going to want some bats. Soul Vial times two. Uh, let's see, do we have the Pulsating Crystals yet? We have most of them. Just go here. We'll get the rest of them in a second. So, what's oh, taking it so long? Um, there's one, so we just need three more of these. Okay, so we're going to need some bats for the boosters, the thrusters. We're also going to need to do a lot of other things. Uh, honestly, it shouldn't be too bad. What is taking you so long? Um, so once we have the Dark Solarium stuff, we can make the... We need to get the Dark Solarium jet plate. That's the big thing right now. And then we can make the battle suit stuff, um, which should not be too much of a problem. Come on, give me the last one. So I can then go... We're going to go to the mining dimension to see if we can find some bats. Um, there should be some bats flying around in the caves. Oh my gosh, this is just taking forever. Alright, you know what? We will... We will come back. So let's go to the mining dimension. We need to find just a couple of bats. Um, it's not that big of a deal. It shouldn't be that difficult. Anyways, so hopefully. Um, now, I haven't ever seen any hostile mobs spawning down here, so that's kind of nice. Um, but I don't actually know if I've seen any bats either. 
I know hostile mobs can spawn if there's a dungeon, um, which can generate in the mining dimension. I don't know if... I don't know if they've ever spawned in the mining dimension. Um, I don't know if they've spawned in the mining dimension in this mod pack specifically, but I know that they can. All right, so not really seeing anything that screams bats. Um, okay, so I guess Let's try something else. So I, I'm trying to get this done fairly quickly. Um, bats are always a pain to find because when you need them, they're nowhere. Uh, also, how many villagers do we have? I haven't been over here in a while. Looks like we have a good number. I mean, there's five. Eh, there's about ten. Eh, probably close to ten. Not bad. Um, eventually, we will be able to have some fun with that. But... Um, the ver the vibranium or whatever it is uh, that we need for those that we need those villagers for um, it's gonna be a lot easier to get later so angel block we're gonna build a little contraption uh, relatively low in the ground so we're gonna need some I have some blocks doesn't matter too much and we just need to come down here. Uh, let's go to about Y level 40. And just do something like this. And we're going to have skeletons for a second until I can clean them off and light this up. So. And that should be fine. So we'll just do this, pick that up, and we're going to want to put a little bit of a roof on this. So, bats spawn uh, at low Y levels in darkness. They spawn exactly like a uh, hostile mob would, but. Um, Obviously, they're non-hostile, so that is a little bit of an issue for us, but it shouldn't be too bad. We, we do need to make it dark, but um, we're going to have bad things in there, too, so we'll just have to be careful. And cool. So... F7, yeah, I figured that's probably all dark. Just build this up real quick. Um, I'm going to need more torches. But F7. Okay, let's go grab some more torches real quick. Um, but yeah, so we need to get bats. Bats are kind of the, the big part it's going to be difficult. Uh, let's grab the pulsating crystal. So we can finish making these. Um, just open that. It's easier. Alright, so we need more torches. Which I have plenty. Alright, cool. So... Pop down here and torch up the exterior because don't really want anything spawning on top of here. And that should be fine. So grab that torch. And we can get away, and hopefully there will be some bats. We can also check over here. No, I think this is too far up. So that's the other thing about bats, is they do require um, to be fairly low in the ground. 
but let's go ahead and clean up our inventory a little bit and then we can start working on all this stuff so we have a bunch of dark solarium um, which unfortunately we can't do much with but um, we can't really worry about that yet so we're gonna need vibrant jetpack um, which we already have so we'll go ahead and put that in there can we duplicate it uh, we can if we take the armor off so you know what? Let's, let's go ahead and do that just so we have an extra one just in case uh, so we'll put that away and there's the vibrant jetpack all right so that part is done um, we're going to need two of these reinforced glider wings, so we're going to need conductive iron. Can we duplicate that? No, of course not. But silicon, we can. So we're going to need one of these. And conductive iron. And we're going to need how many of these? So we're going to need uh, nine or six. Do we need any more? We need electrical steel. We're gonna need a seventh. Uh, so we need seven of these. So let's get. Let's see. Let's get like eight of them. And that means we're gonna need eighty. Conductive iron. We're gonna need a lot of conductive iron. Um, so let's just get a couple stacks or so. That'll be fine. And that is incredibly fast, which is nice. All right, so we're gonna need three of these for the glider wings. One and two. And then we're going to need this guy. So we're going to need 10 electrical steel. Let's, let's just go ahead and duplicate some more of that. And why didn't I make, it? oh, I wanted an extra one just in case. But I realized that I wanted an extra of the silicon, not the... Uh, I messed up. Oh, well. Um, so we're going to need that in a little bit. Uh, so let's go ahead and start making this guy. So we're going to need... A leather strap. That's the thing we need for that. I don't really care about duplicating because that's easy enough to make. Um, so there is the basic capacitor thing. Uh, what is the thing on the bottom? I didn't look. Gold. Okay. So we need just to grind up a piece of gold. And that should be double layer. Now we're going to need a pulsating crystal. I do believe, and I believe we're also gonna need a vibrant crystal, but let's go ahead and duplicate uh, a couple of those. So we're also gonna need a vibrant crystal. So let's get that taken care of. And again, we'll duplicate a, a few of these. So it's still working on that. Uh, we made a bit of electrical steel. Let's take like three stacks. And oh my gosh, this takes forever. Okay, there we go, finally. Pulsating crystal. That's enough. 
All right, so where is the capacitor thing? Um, we're going to need to make a couple other things for this. So we're gonna need a, cap a capacitor block, a uh, bank rather. So we need redstone, um, conductive iron, and uh, capacitors. Obviously, two, three, four. We'll make one of these, duplicate it, and then not have to worry about it again. So, nothing too difficult. Um, let's go check on bats real quick. See if we can hear any bats. Can we drop? Floor. Hey, I hear a bat. We have a bat. Alright, so let's light this up. And I actually want to go grab something else. Um, so hopefully that bat stays there. And let's go grab a safari net. Um, because if we can duplicate the bat with the safari net, it'll be a lot easier. Um, so... Safari net, let's go ahead and make... Safari net. Uh, these are simple enough to craft. And let's get in here. Awesome. We now have a bat. So I guess let's just go ahead and pick that all up. Cool. Because uh, we don't really need it anymore. We have a single bat, which means we can duplicate it uh, infinitely as desired. All that kind of fun stuff. Um, this is going to be the fun part of... Catching bats. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. We got one. And as soon as it spawns another one, we're going to just take this out and not worry about it. So, I don't want to have a ton of bats around my base. Oh, no, I got it. There we go. Alright, cool. So, with that taken care of, um, one of these days I'll make a little bit of an area for the spawner. That's going to go over yonder. Um, and it'll be fine. So let's go ahead and put the bat in here. Let's clean up our inventory. I want those reward bags back, please. All right, so um, basic capacitor bank. Let's duplicate it a bunch of times. And we'll just put that one away. So now we're going to need double layer and the, uh, oh, what is it? The energetic. And we should be able to make the next tier. I believe it's like so, right? No. Uh, it's not energetic. It's electrical steel. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so let's grab some electrical steel, which I just had, and we'll make the next tier of this. Duplicate these, and then I believe we can um, make the the last tier. Do the same thing. Let's add like that many. Perfect. So we'll just put these guys in here. Um, get an octadic capacitor. Uh, because I believe it's dark steel. Okay, easy enough. So let's grab some dark steel. 
we'll get the last capacitor bank and duplicate that a couple times. So basically just kind of repeating the same idea over and over and over again. Um, and it, it's just going to make things easier. So Vibrant, just add a bunch of nether stars. Let's grab some more nether stars. We have plenty, so it's not that much of a concern. All right, that is more than enough. And hopefully we never have to make those again. So let's get rid of all that stuff. And uses of this. So um, quadruple layer, uh, octadic capacitor, capacitor bank armored. And now we should have almost everything. Um, so capacitor bank armored jet pack all right so we just need the thrusters so we're gonna need two of these things one two soul bound things uh, we're gonna need like 16 levels so let's grab like 20 levels and that is incredibly fast which is nice um, so with that taken care of, uh, we need to make Vibrant Thrusters. So we need two of these, and we just need another energy conduit. Um, yeah, not gonna, not gonna make a ton of those. Alright, Dark Solarium Thrusters. And then finally the Dark Solarium Jet Plate. So we just need the Jet Pack and Capacitor. And there we go. So that is another quest. Uh, middle one. So there's not much left here to do. In fact, I think there's just... Is there just the one quest? The Enchanter? Which is going to require some enticing crystals? Okay, we'll do that um, relatively soon. But not right now. Let's continue on uh, with Zeta. So power armor. Uh, so battle suit. We need more battle suit pieces. We need a lot of these, so let's do another stack. Okay, so that should be enough for right now. So we have battle suit, armor, and there we go. So middle one. Next is upgrade tokens. We need four upgrade tokens. So let's get rid of all of this. Upgrade token. And this is only relatively expensive. Um, need four of these, so let's, let's get four. Oh, we have to craft them. Okay. Um, didn't mean to do that, but let's get one more of these. All right. So there's two. We'll just do that. Um, because we can we can duplicate all that stuff, so it's not that big of a deal. One and two. All right, so that is that quest. Uh, I must have accidentally taken an, uh, that out of the system. And finally, Power, Mar Power Armor Mark II unlocks two quests elsewhere. So, Battle Armor. Um, what is this called? Battle Suit. Battle Suit. So, Battle Suit chest plate. That is that. Next, uh, well, helmet, not chest plate. Some lapis, and finally, redstone. And middle, and now, does it unlock lambda and mu? Awesome! So, let's go ahead and claim all these rewards. 
So now we've unlocked pretty much everything that we can do currently. Uh, so we can start looking at making more stuff. And then we've already done the first two quests here. So um, one of the next things we're going to want to do is start to get into this. Um, because that's where a lot of everything is. So we can put the battle suit armor away, all the heart stuff, all all of this stuff, and we'll, we'll organize our uh, inventory just a little bit. But um, I'm going to tell you guys this: between episodes, I'm going to work on getting um, a plan logistics kind of nice and neat, and um, just kind of work on that kind of stuff for right now, uh, and then you know get things wired up like I want it and everything. So basically, I'm going to be moving. Um, stuff like this and all of this stuff down below uh, it'll be fine and it's kind of boring tedious work I'll show it off next time but uh, I'm gonna do the, all that off camera so we have let's see epic legendary I think legendary is better than epic um, greater good more graders basic goods so we have one basic, seven goods, six graders, six epics, and two legendaries. Can we get the item or items that I'm looking for yet? So basic, heart glass. Okay. Uh, goods. We have seven goods. So core sample drill, flask of shielding, cooking for blockheads, quantum entropy accelerator, some rods. That's actually kind of nice. A bunch of chance cubes and other things. So Okay. Um, not really anything super great there, but they were just good. So we have six graders, jump boots and reinforced compound goggles, that stuff, another amulet of growth, a tape measure, uh, an energetic flux battery, that's really nice, and electric chainsaw, uh, which is not bad. I've gotten a couple of those so far, but we have six epics, so what are we going to get? Nothing. Nothing. Tier 2, Chance Pendant. Uh, teleporter. That's kind of cool. Mechanism stuff. Spot Loader, Chunk Loaders. Those are nice, but not really. And we have one last. More grenades. Ugh. So nothing good. But we have two legendaries, so can we get something good? Can I get the sword that I want? Grenades. Creative Tool Modifiers. That's kind of nice, but not really. I mean, don't we have a lot of those? No, I guess that's the first time we've gotten that. Okay, so that's kind of nice, but I don't really care. I want my sword. There is a sword in this pack that um, is kind of insane. And if we can get it, um, well, I'll be set for a while. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to work on getting a Plytergistic system kind of set up a little bit better. And next time, um, we are going to... Well, do some stuff. So, um, by the way, I'm making all this the VCO essence. Uh, the reason for that, one, we can turn this into good stuff. Um, but why was I making all that? I don't even, actually don't even remember. Um, we're going to need it for some things, but I don't know what I was thinking. Huh. I have no idea. Um... We are going to need a lot of these blocks, but we can make those other than the Minicio blocks. So that's something to keep in mind, but that's something we're not going to be able to do for a while because, well, this is kind of terrible. Um, we're going to need mass Zivicio blocks as well, but we can EMC those, so... Um, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, um, we're going to work next time on just whatever we can and go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!